We're making a quiche today, and I love them because they taste great, but you know they're a very convenient thing to use up scraps or just use what's in season. Now, you can use almost any ingredients. I like cheese in mine, I like vegetables, and sometimes I'll even add meat. So uh, why don't we get something started and we'll go through the process of sauteing and then mixing the eggs and what you need to set the quiche, okay? Today we've got these three ingredients for vegetables. I got peppers, onions, and spinach. I'm gonna sweat these down in a little bit of olive oil. We preheated the skillet. Let's go ahead and get those in. I'll cook the onions and peppers for a few minutes just to soften them up. And then once those get translucent, fully cooked, you can add your spinach. Now, again, this could be anything. I want to season it with salt. Pepper's a choice, you know. You don't have to have pepper, but I like it in there. But for this, I think I'll just leave it salt and these ingredients. Once you get this fully cooked, you need to let it cool. Once it's cool, then we can assemble our quiche. All right, for the egg mixture, I'm going to have cream. I love the tang of a little sour cream with that. I love the texture of it as well. And then I'm going to take five eggs and put them in with these. And then all we got to do is mix this up. Now, when you stir this, try not to overbeat it. Because if we do, we're going to put a lot of air into this. And really, we're not looking for that in this case. We just want to combine these. So break those yolks and just start working them together. Again, salt and pepper. Salt you got to have, pepper you don't, but I like both. So I'll season this to where I like it. And then we'll get ready to assemble our quiche. It's simple to arrange these. You know, we've got a pie crust. We just bought this, put it in the tin. I've got some uh, cheese. Now I'm going to use half of it now. Kind of sprinkle on the bottom. I want to distribute it a little bit. Then I'll take my vegetables. Now these have cooled off. Seasoned them right. We'll make sure these are nice and spread out so that everybody gets a little bit of these. Now you got to watch out. Sometimes, you know, like tomatoes and things like that will give you a lot of moisture. And that's going to you know, really play with your cream and eggs. So if you've got a lot of moisture and you've sauteed it, hey, drain some of that off. But usually it works. Okay. Now we'll put the rest of the cheese on top. Nice and even. Not too much though, right? And then we're going to take our eggs that we prepared, pour it right over the top. Now I preheat an oven at 350 degrees. I'll throw this in there. And when these eggs are set, we'll be ready to eat quiche. 